I was born and raised as a suit, um, got frustrated with the business world and ended up going and hanging out with artists and realized also that they, although they had this incredible vision, these great ideas, they had no way to translate it into the business community. So that was kind of this epiphany that I had. What if I took the great vision of these artists and the practical application that I studied in business school and kind of mashed them together? So that's where this whole kind of journey started. And thinking is this idea of harnessing our thoughts, critical thinking, narrowing them down, but unthinking is this idea of expanding our mind again for a multitude of different ideas, solutions, imagination by which to be able to problem solve. The inspiration is the catalyst. That's where emotion comes from, um, and that's where the avenues to the right side of our mind, the creative side, the unthinking side, the imaginative side open up. If we just are strictly studying to get the grade, um, it's going to close down and we'll, we'll be limited to just one aspect of, the, of problem solving. And that's what's so prevalent out there are a bunch of robots who can answer individual questions very efficiently but have a more difficult time being able to problem solve and differentiate from the competition or create unique leadership experiences or unique customer experiences or unique academic experiences. So uniqueness, differentiation would be some of the keys from, from unthinking. Don't set yourself in stone too early. And we, you know, we're encouraged to pick majors. I majored in business. It has a little bit to do with what I do as a graffiti artist for a living now. Um, but those labels and boxes and things that we place around ourselves, even at the early ages of you know, 19, 20, 21, 22, that's not who you're gonna be 10 years from now. It is a stepping stone to what you can achieve. 